Do you want to know how to get an American Express business credit card without having to use your social security number as a personal gamer tool? Well, let me show you how. Whenever you go to the American Express credit card website, you're going to type in American Express business credit cards. Whenever you go to the rates and fees section, it basically tells you when you scroll down that by submitting this application, you as an individual and the authorizing officer of the company, A, are requesting to open an account in the name of the company, B, are requesting that we issue cards as you direct, C, are agreeing to be jointly and severely liable with the company for all the charges. Now, wait a minute. I thought you just said I don't have to use my social security number. Well, this is because your business is, is not structured properly. Whenever you structure your business properly and apply for the American Express corporate card, here is how you can now get an American Express corporate card without having to use your social security number. The corporate card checklist is clear. Whenever you have a business, Provide them the legal name of the company. That should match your business's financial statements and the Secretary of State. Automatically, whenever you run a business and you do not have a proper bookkeeping system in place, you won't be able to provide financial statements. But whenever you provide those financial statements that matches the name of the Secretary of State, you have already checked one of the boxes. Number two. Only provide a DBA if it's registered at the state. Number three, provide the company's TIN number as issued by the IRS. Number four, corporate phone number. This cannot, under any circumstances, be a Google number or things of that nature. It has to be a business phone. More importantly, for every business owner that does not have a website, to get a corporate card without having to use your social security number, you have to have a corporate website. Facebook won't work. Social media won't work. You have to have a business website. You also have to have a business address. Pay attention. No P.O. boxes permitted. When we go to the authorized officer, it will say American Express defines an authorized officer as an officer, partner, or representative of the company with the authority to open the accounts in the company's name and bind the company to an agreement. Personal information, first name, last name, date of birth. It doesn't ask for your social. Well, wait a minute. It gets better. Business email address. If you are a business owner and your email address ends with at gmail, at yahoo, at Hotmail, et cetera, et cetera. That is a personal email address, not a business email address. It's important that you get yourself a domain. So if you wanna know how to actually get a corporate card without having to use your social, make sure that you structure your business properly as a corporation because a corporation is the only business structure that allows you to be separate from the business because a corporation is seen as a person. My name is Dwayne Williams. I sit in the CEO chair of Mac Enterprise Consulting, which is a full service business consulting firm geared towards helping business owners such as yourself. For more information, feel free to visit our website and we have a very special offer to join our masterclass that teaches you how to build your business and separate you from the business today. Thank you. Have an amazing day.